Hello everyone, uh, today in today's review we will deal with a very unusual subject as you can see on the box art it's a UFO and that's a German project uh, which was called How Nebel and as you can see it's produced by company Korean company Hand and Head that's quite new release which will be available quite soon but um, we can test it and we can check it today as you can see it comes in a quite, I would say, big box uh, and it's quite detailed kit uh, on the sides there are two marking options which are available in this kit uh, on the sides there is mention of the scale, of course it's 170 second scale but it's not that small as you can guess and on the other side we have features described, decals are printed by cartograph there is exterior features, uh, interior features and it can be also disassembled in order to show the interior and assembled size it's written here it will have diameter of 200 mm and height of 90 mm that's a traditional top opening box as you can see I really like this box art it's really nice I mean it looks much better than some let's say strange pictures from some manufacturers and I really like it what we have inside you can see here plenty of sprues uh, they're packed on, in plastic bags so you don't have to worry about their condition let's check them one by one and see the molding quality and other interesting things okay so we would open the first bag first bag contains three sprues which are molded from the grey plastic there are all three are similar as far as you can see so I would show only one because as far as you can guess all the three are concerned with each segment of the UFO so we need to check on the one just to realize the quality I mean to check the quality so here we can see the cockpit floor I think uh, here are some parts from the external parts here are also some external parts seats let's say pilot seats or operator seats here are some dashboard parts and here are, I would say landing gear as you can see, molding quality is very good. I mean, I don't see any flesh. Plastic is quite uh, durable, and the uh, winding gear is quite interesting. I mean, features really complicated molding, as you can see. Uh, then we have some machine guns and machine gun cover, and some minor elements for minor machine guns dashboard, and that's all for this sprue. As I said, there are three of them, so. I will show them here, you can see them one, two, three. But there is no need to check one by one because they are absolutely similar. Then we have second bag, uh, which is approximately the same story because inside we will find three similar sprues which are absolutely identical and we will check only one once again. Uh, at the bottom, uh, I would say fuse which part. As you can see again, nice molding quality, really simple detailization on the outside, but it was also mentioned on the box that features simple outside detailization and more <coughs> detailized interior. We flip it over and see that there is some detailization on the inside and position pins are present so you won't have to feed all this. Uh, aligning those parts. Again, once again, I would show that there are three sprues, they are absolutely similar, so you can guess. Then we have. Just give me a moment, please. Then we have my infusion parts. And sometimes you realize 
this hellish opens this back. I think it would be better to open it like this. It's really interesting that somebody is trying to introduce to us some new subjects which are not similar to all those flocky wolves and other typical World War II subjects. So again, three similar sprues. And here we see the top fuselage part. As you can see, molding quality is quite okay, but we have this molding signs from the uh, injection process. But it's okay, I think it would be covered by primer and by paint. We flip it over and then we have some detailization on the inside. Again, really nice. And don't forget that you can open it. Here we have fine saucer mentioning. I think it will be possible to assemble the stand for this fine saucer so called. No, nevertheless I'd be a bit surprised by the road fine saucer because that's a cow nebu. And a fine saucer why it's uh, featured because there was previous release which we would really review soon. It was called the fine saucer Adamski type. But it's not related to today's hero let's say. And then we have one more sprue which is a bit bigger than others but it's still molded in the same quality you can see it here I will zoom it out for you now we will focus the camera and now you can see it properly really nice molding quality absolutely no flesh here is some mention left and right I think it would be concerned with top fuselage parts. We have to check the manual. On the inside there is still some detailization present, even here. And here and here. So it's really nice to see such, let's say, well thought kit design. Because I would say, of course, it's obvious, there are no, uh, absolutely no, or almost no reference materials on this subject. And it's up to the creators of this kit what would be inside. Then we have an uh, assembly manual, which is printed on in the cover. As you can see, it's done in form of the small brochure and inside we will find some quite understandable instructions on, the, on how to assemble this model uh, here we can see that it's called posing boom ah, it's not included into this kit so here we can see control room and bottom plate assembly uh, painting samples they are given in ROM numbers. Uh, what else? How to make panel lines. It's also interesting. They give us opportunity to design outer detailization by ourselves. So it's really a very unusual approach to the model and to the kit creation. And then we have uh, what else? Here is applying the cows, trimming parts, explaining all those methodics, parts map, you can see it here. And of course marking option guide, which is really nice because it gives again several options and, and it shows them in all possible points of view. And here are also this nice text. Dornier Stratosphere in Gambach. So it's really nice. Quite well designed manual. I think it will be helpful during assembly. Decals are packed in ziplock bag as you can see. 
and of course there is not of course I mean as it's written on the box there is sticker with this uh, sign it's it would be featured only in the first um, party of this kit so let's check them closer it's a bit hard to remove because from this type this type of the bags, but let's admit it, it's better than just simple plastic bag that we would have to cut. Okay, so we have here decals. Decals are printed by Cartograph. Our quality is very good. There are also some decals for the dashboard, for some outer elements, for the stencils and even for the hatches as you can see here really nice and I would say printing quality is typical for cartograph nothing to complain about absolutely okay and the before mentioned sticker is here I think you can apply it everywhere or wherever you want and quite nice stickers, especially this one with flying saucer. <laughs> so I would say that's the end of this review. And I think that's quite unusual to see that somebody is introducing flying saucer to us. And this 70 second scale model is not that small and it should look very nice in the assembled state and moreover I'm really in favor of those solutions like I mean uh, possibility to design kit in yourself you can do panel lines you can derive it and you can do whatever you want because outer panels are quite simple and of course I think like with some imagination applied you can even design the cockpit and it will it will, will look even more complicated even more convincing uh, as usual, I would like to recommend to check full review on our website. And thank you for watching and see you.